Okay. So we'll wait for some people to join. Um, and I just wanna say, we're gonna actually make a legit video, but we wanted to come on for a live right now. And I will say that again in a minute, but this is for anybody joining on later. I'm currently in South Carolina visiting the Norris lab. So yeah. We just posting it, right it on my yeah, story. Just posting on our story. Oh, that's really cute, really cute photo. I know, I used to keep pictures of us. I'm gonna I'll post that later on my Instagram or like somewhere. Oh. Okay, so let's see, is anybody on yet? Wait, okay, only one person's on, so give it a minute. Cause I'm on, okay, three people. Hi, hi, Emily. Um, that was like, who messaged me? That was me. Okay, I'm putting it on my story. Hey guys, give it a minute and more people will come. And then we will do, um, Okay. Sorry for anybody watching. We're just waiting for a few people to hop on and then we're gonna answer any questions that people have. Oh geez, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. It'll be better. Why you just have me It's not that it's painful, it's just that it's lumpy. Okay. Is that better? Yes, that's better, that's better. Okay, so um, more people are gonna join as we continue to be on here. So today I'm with Courtney and we're gonna have to repeat this a few times as more people join on. But Courtney like works at or is a current student at MUSC. Um, or the Medical University of South Carolina. And she is currently working at a lab called the Norris Lab, which, okay, great, now we're at 17. The Norris Lab, <laughs> which has the best candidate gene right now for HEDS. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. So we are here to answer any questions that people have. Um, and yeah, so if anybody has, do you want to just start and explain a little bit about what's going on? Yeah, so um, I am in my fourth year of my PhD at MUSC um, in biomedical sciences, and I'm working in a lab that was really focused on um, cardiovascular connective tissue diseases, so things like mitral valve prolapse. And um, when I joined the lab, we decided to start working on hypermobile EDS. So I have HEDS myself, and that was sort of the motivation behind the project. And so we've been working on this um, part-time for about two years and full-time for about the last year and a half um, to uncover genetic causes of HEDS and work towards ways that we can um, better diagnose and um, treat HEDS as well. So right now we're the largest lab in the world working on the disease, which is really awesome. Um, and we're hoping that we can continue to make more progress in yeah. what we're doing. So we're going to go in a few minutes, film an actual video with more of an explanation. But they have, in fact, found a gene um, in a few families who have HEDS. And it's, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. So, like, you, you take it over from here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, someone just said they sent my 2020 paper to their PCP. That's awesome. Um, a, a cool, quick side note on that paper. Um so we published it in a journal called Developmental Dynamics, which is a really um, awesome developmental biology, sorry, you can close that. Yeah. Um, a really awesome developmental biology journal. And in the nine months since we published it, it's become the top downloaded article in the journal's history of anything they've ever published in just nine months. And I think that's a combination of you know, patients taking it to their physicians. I mean, I think a lot of patients are downloading this, which is one of the audiences we wanted to reach, but also we wanted to reach other researchers who really don't have HDS on their radar. So that's been super exciting. Yeah. So the main reason that we're actually coming on here is because we're about to film a video with actual explanation about what's going on. And I actually went to the lab for this, like I came on Wednesday and I'm here till Saturday. And um, I got to do a lot of really cool things, learn about some of the genetics behind what they're doing. And can I say like, the candidate gene? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I learned what the candidate gene is. Um, and I, we're gonna go film a video. So we kind of just wanted to put this out there, get excited, we're gonna talk about it. Um, they cannot release the name of the gene until their paper is published. But did you just, um, like what have, like I guess that might be in, yeah, so Many months, um, but. A, a lot of people I know have been a little um, upset that we um, can't publicly share the name of the gene right now, but um, it's not just genetics. So the other really important piece is biology. How does this genetic um, piece cause a biological consequence that results in HEDS. And proving the biology takes a lot more time. And so we've been working really hard on that. We have a mouse model of HEDS that allows us to study the disease and how it progresses. Um, so we can really understand, okay, if you have this gene mutation, what does that actually do to your connective tissues? And so in that process, um, we're moving as quickly as possible and we are hoping to publish in the next three to six months. Um, obviously, 
things don't always go as planned, but I can promise that we are working as hard and as quickly as possible to get it out there. And the interns in the lab have also um, been working really hard at this. And they've um, talked to Izzy a lot about what it's been like to be in the lab and, and be a part of this project. And they do in fact have a gene. So just to clarify, like it's not going to explain everybody's case of HEDS, but if it can explain a certain portion, that is a huge, huge step. So, um, we are going to make that video now. I think we're going to go, but we're actually going to take a photo of all your questions because we're going to film the video now. And I just kind of wanted an idea of what you guys are looking into. This is not clickbait because I saw somebody be like, hope it's not clickbait. It is not clickbait. Um, I'm taking a photo of this and we're going to go film a video. Yeah, right I know now. someone asked about the what the paper, if we can link it. We can also put a link to that um, 2020 paper in the. Yeah, but that paper does not say what the gene is. No, I mean, that's that, just um, really a, a comprehensive literature review on all things HEDS. So everything yeah. from um, the symptoms patients might experience to how it's currently diagnosed, and then really an emphasis on gaps in knowledge and where research needs to be focused. Yeah, so we're gonna go now. Look out for that. We're gonna release that as soon as possible, and we'll be talking to you, answering some of these questions. Um, I already see questions that we are that like we're allowed <laughs> to answer. So. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.